What's up guys, it's Mike here from Error Page. Today I'm going to show you how you can save hundreds of hours over the course of your Airtable career by setting up your images to be libraries rather than just attaching them to records with attachment fields. Okay, so I've got the exact same content um, in two different setups here. And I'm going to show you why one of them which is the common way to do it, which is a big mistake, is a real pain in the ass. Excuse my French. And why the other one is a dream to use. Okay. And the main reason is that this takes advantage of relational database concepts. It takes advantage of the linked field and the lookup. And it's how you should use Airtable. This is what Airtable is for. Okay, so let's jump right in. Guys, in this scenario, I've got some blog articles and I've got an image field. And when I want to use an image, I upload it. Okay, so the image will be empty. I click add and I can upload it from various places. But the most common is going to be selecting from my um, from my computer. Okay, some folder that I have here with images in it and I upload a file, it takes 10 clicks, and then I have to upload it and use bandwidth through my network and Airtable then has to generate this image. And, you know, it's all just a bit laborious. If I now decide that I don't want to use this image, I really have no choice. I've got to delete it and upload another one and repeat the entire process. Okay, if I decide that I want to use this image and this image, in the same field, I just want to move this one and have multiple attachments here. There's no obvious way to do it. Copy and paste is going to replace the other image. Um, there is a workaround. I'll show you. I'll show it to you quickly, but uh, I don't recommend using this in this scenario. But you might find it useful in other situations. You can go here, right click, copy image, uh, get rid of this. Excuse me. Yeah, get rid of that. Uh, go here, click here, click here in this blank area, control V, and now you can paste it in. And it's just going to re upload that seven megabyte image into this attachment field. It's still a waste of time. Like it's a workaround that you might find useful, but that's a total waste of time. You don't have to do it like this. Um, so the last scenario, let's say I've just got a bunch of images and I am and I have a bunch of uh, articles that don't have images attached to them. OK. I have to go through and individually pick each image by looking on my computer, uploading it. Oh, I change my mind, remove that one, re-upload. That's a nightmare. OK, it's almost unmanageable. Now let's look at the other situation. Okay, so in this situation, I took this keyword field, okay, and I turned it into a linked field. All right, it's easy to do. I'll even I'll even show you how to do it right now. Okay, so edit this field, link to another record. Okay, I'm going to create another table. And I'm going to call this keyword images. Uh, sorry, I'll call the table keyword images. It doesn't matter. Okay, now you have a new table. Okay, the links are already there. You got no problems with that. And you have a, uh, a record for each of those words. Now here, here is where you would start uploading your images. Um, and, you know, this is what you would do if you start with the content and you want to build a link. Now you can go through the process, which you already would have had to do anyway of uploading these. But what you're doing is you're tying the image to a keyword. You're not tying the image to an article. So, you know, I can upload this image for this keyword. And now I can reuse the same image in multiple situations. Okay, so if I go here, 
And this article is already linked. You know, I've done this kind of in the reverse process. Uh, I'm going to now edit this image field and I'm going to turn this into a lookup. Okay. And then this is going to look up the attachments in that other field. And we get the same result, but we get it in a way more manageable way. Okay. So there's another way to look at this, which is also uh, probably more common again, which is that you just want to upload a bunch of images and make a library, which you can definitely do, and then start connecting the images so that you have a thousand images. And every time you want one, uh, and you've created a new record for a new article in this case, so, you know, we'll say summer dresses. Okay. Now, I want to add an image, I click plus, and I can search through my library of images for summer. Okay, I can use this, I can use this anytime I want to use want to have something related to summer. If I want to do dresses as well, well, I, <laughs> I don't have one for dresses right now. Let's say it's summer handbags. All right, so I can add handbags. Okay, so it's just treating things the way they should be treated where images is a library it's a type of content articles are a type of content and they are related to each other not they're not the same thing they, they, they shouldn't be one record in one table okay guys i think you get the point um i'm just going to show you one last thing uh which makes this a huge benefit okay so you've got your images here and you want to add more of them. I'm not sure if you've seen this. Some people, it took me a while to discover this, but in the gallery view, okay, you can just select a bunch of images. Okay. And you can drag them to this little uh, plus sign down here and you drop it there. And then you just say, create 40 records. So, I'm just adding 40 images to my image library. I don't have to choose where I want to use them yet. Um, you know, I can refine my library and I can use this same one image library for my entire base. Okay, so I can link these to any number of other tables. Um, and then I focus this table here on purely containing uh, fields and metadata that is useful for images. Okay, so a lot of these have come from uh, pixels. So what I might want to do is um, keep the file name, okay, as some single text, and just transfer the original file name over to the file name field. And then here, I can switch this to an extra tall and then just look at each of these and give it a name that describes what is in the image. So uh, sunshine, sky, jumping, dress, um, wardrobe, handbags. Okay, you could probably get an AI script. AI is pretty hot right now. I mean, you could, you could knock something up that would handle this in bulk and you just build a giant image library. And then you can even, uh, duplicate the base and use it as sort of a template. Um, I mean, there's a million ways that this is way, way better than, than what you're probably doing and what I often do and, and later regret and end up changing. So, um, yeah, jump in here. Now, if I have a, a, um, an article, best handbags 2023, and I come here, here I've got my wardrobe handbags from my image library that I just uploaded um, in you know, under 30 seconds. Okay, guys, as usual, um, it would be massively helpful if you subscribe, like, tell your friends, do all of those things. 
Um, I hope this saves you a bunch of time and I hope it improves your Airtable experience. And I'll be coming back with a lot more videos like this. So stay tuned. Thank you. Bye-bye.